Hey guys, good morning. Welcome back to the Saw Shop. So overnight I got an email from a gentleman that is looking into either buying a 272 Holst Pharma or a 281 by Neotech, okay? Uh, these are my examples for them. Um, of course, this is the one that we built here on the channel and ported. And this is the 272 that I have done some cosmetics on. It's a custom top end, what do you guys think? Yes, sir. And, uh is stock except for the muffler mod and so pretty good saw and so what his questions were is which saw would i suggest okay now that's a hard thing to say okay um i do have some cuts some uh footage rather of, of both of these saws cutting and so i'm going to go ahead and upload them for uh and we can go ahead and cut to that however uh it wouldn't be fair to show them in a comparison because one log's small and one's lar one's very large. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and show them cutting for uh, this gentleman can check them out. So let's go ahead and cut to that. <laughs> There you have it guys uh pretty strong i listen this one i'm pretty proud of i am it's still not broken uh matter of fact i've been so busy with other things i haven't had the opportunity to go back out and do more cutting with it and so i'm really 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 interested in to see how this thing gets down once it breaks in okay of course we're talking about a ported saw uh i do have a 281 that we uh we compared against this one when we first uh, built this to give it a fair comparison. And of course it, it, it won out. Of course it should because, well again, it's a ported saw. Uh, but let's go ahead and move this one to the front and talk about this Holst real quick, okay? Okay, so this Holst Pharma was a, a favorite of mine in the beginning of the channel guys it still is i love this saw i absolutely love this saw man guys um it's got great trigger response the uh, carburetor are, are, are nice on these things it is a walbro okay this 272 came with a walbro and uh most of the host farmers that i have seen the 272s that have all come through my shop which are about six now have all been these walbros okay you know i, I People say, but well, you know, I don't have a, uh, that they don't leave a bunch of saws around and, and they sell them and buy them and sell them. Listen, I keep the saws that I have here and I, people buy saws and then I order more based upon what they can see here. Okay. And some of them I'll go ahead and sell to local people. Uh, some of the ones I have on hand, I sell obviously off to local people. And then like this one, particularly if somebody wanted it, I wouldn't sell it. I order them one and off it goes, you know what I mean? Uh, but so I do business, everybody does business a little bit different, but this gentleman wanted to see, see, you know, how I felt about the differences between these two saws. Okay. Uh, the interesting part about both these saws is this is as high as it can go. Meaning it's bore size. There is nothing bigger unless you get into a machine shop. Okay. So there's no big bore kit for this. And there is also no big bore kit for this. Kind of interesting, huh? This is a 72 or a 52 millimeter bore. This is a 52 millimeter bore. So when we compare, it's kind of interesting that this gentleman is actually comparing these two saws. Leads me to believe that he knows his business, okay? Because the stroke uh, is, is, is similar, okay? And so these are really super good saws, guys. Uh, you know, the point that he would be asking, hey, which one would I, leads me to believe that he doesn't necessarily have a brand preference, meaning even though they're clones, a brand preference either of Husqvarna or steel, okay? And so for that reason, 
I'm going to suggest to him the Neotech, okay? And the reason why Neotech, and we've, we've talked about this in the past, guys, is Neotech service is better. Hands down, it is better, okay? It just is. Um, I've developed a better relationship with Host Pharma. I buy in bulk. Um, I get units uh, awfully cheap when you buy them in bulk. Of course, you have to pay for the shipping. Uh, but... Uh, so I buy them in bulk, and we've bought a lot of sauce in bulk with Host Pharma, okay? So I've, uh, in, in a short amount of time, so uh, in the last 400 months, okay? Uh, the first shipment or two didn't go real well, got caught in customs, and so here we are. But the last month and a half or so, it's done a lot better. And so uh, we're selling them out right, right. But when they do have issues, which I've had very little of either company, just to be honest, of, of bad, I, you know, like Jobu, one of the, one of the subscribers, what's up Jobu? Uh, uh, he had an issue out of the box for the 5200, 6200, one of the two, uh, comes with bar and chain off the Neo site for I believe around 150, 175 bucks. It says it starts and then it dies. Man, I hate to hear that and I hope he's gotten this taken care of. If he hasn't, we're gonna keep on, I guarantee it that this saw will run no matter what we gotta do. Now I'm not connected with that cell at all, uh, he's just a subscriber and you know, he's a friend and uh, met him here on the you know just through the channel and but uh, somebody I esteem he, he's he's good good people and so no matter what we're gonna do we're gonna stay on that Neotech people until uh, until we get him uh, uh, taken care of okay but out of the box having issues like that with not starting this that is actually the first I've heard okay now I have had some issues with the 288 Host Pharma out of the box. It ran fine, uh, but it had an air leak. Uh, I ended up fixing those issues. But, so I have developed a decent relationship with Host Pharma, but it's because I do a lot of business with them. And so they, 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 some, they still kind of give you a hard time every once in a while, guys, okay? Uh, Neotech is a lot better when it comes to when you speak speak to them now uh is this always going to be the case no most of the time you know how many different people you speak to when you when different people from different parts of the country email neotech okay so maybe not every one of them have the same kind of patience or uh diplomatic uh skills okay but uh for the most part uh i have found by far Host Pharma. I got a wiping product. I, they get dust on them, guys. Anyway, so for that reason, I would definitely go with the Neotech, okay? And, and that's why. Now, I'm glad I don't have to kick either one of them out of the collection because I really like this 272. If I had to nitpick this one apart, I would say the Anti Vibe isn't as good, near as good as the 281, and particularly this unit, okay? Which is why it stays here at the shop, okay? Uh, can I go in and fix it? I could, no problem. But it gets a little bit, the other ones have not had that issue. Uh, uh, not the heavy, vibra this has a vibration problem. So I need to go in and check out the, someday. <laughs> we're gonna do a project on this one in the future. I have some secret parts for it. And so we're gonna go to that one day. So, but, uh, and so I figure I'll fix it then. But, um, so that's why this one's always stayed here. And plus, hey man, it's, it's all painted up custom. Hope y'all dig that, huh? Yes, sir. Kind of cool. Something different than just the Blue Thunder, guys. I can tell you this one will pull a 32-inch bar. Uh, would it, should it run it all the time? Well, I mean, you could. But there are better saws to run a 32 or a 36. And But it, it will pull it. I've absolutely ran a 36 on this thing. It'll, it'll pull it like a thing. So will this one, okay? Uh, should it live on it? Nah. I had another gentleman ask me day before yesterday on a video talking about a 660 because he didn't want to overheat his up mid 70 class CC saws. If you were just because he got, has some oaks to cut up, if you were just going to cut up a few, if you just used it occasionally, it's no big deal. Now, would I want to run a 70 mid 70 CC class or even a low CC 70 class CC saw like this with 36 on it all the time? Not really. The upside to that is it's lighter. The downside to it, it ain't gonna pull like a 660. If I had to run a 70 class CC with a 36 inch bar, it would be my 372 big bore, uh, be uh, ported, because that sucker will do it with authority. Could it do it all day long? 
Yes, absolutely. So there you have it, guys. I wanted to throw up this video this morning. I uh, hope this helps the guy out. Again, I would go with Neo Tech, and I am starting to get partial to these. Uh, don't tell, don't tell Husqvarna guys. Uh, to these steel clones. I really am. I'm liking them. I, I cut my teeth on the Husqvarna clones. I did. And again, for those of you guys that don't know the channel really well, I, I've kind of put myself through Chinese chainsaw school, guys. I've learned to work on many different types of saws due to these clones, okay? And then started working on an OEM. Don't think that there's not OEM in the shop. There isn't. There wasn't in the beginning, but there is now. There's about seven actual OEM. Let's see. Eight OEM steel saws. Um, about six Husqvarna's. I've got some, I mean, there are some OEMs that are sitting around, guys. Um, and I love them. I do. I'm not partial to them. I'm not, I'm not dogging the OEM. Uh, but I can tell you this. These are a lot close. Now, listen, hear me good, guys. These are a lot closer to OEM in function than price. Meaning, these are really affordable saws. Are they OEM? Absolutely not. Will they last like OEM? Absolutely not. Will they, will they, you could buy several of these for the price of OEM? Yes. Will two of these outlast an OEM? You bet they will, okay? So, it depends. Is this a professional saw that a professional person ought to run all the time? Probably not. If you're a firewood guy, or if you're a guy that wants to mill, because milling life is hard on a saw, guys, you're gonna work on it regardless, like myself. My choo my choosing to run these clone saws on my mill has been the best thing I ever did, okay? Because I've ran OEM on my mill, okay? I've got Holst Pharma's that have processed hundreds of logs with no issues. I've had them the, where I've had to put seals in them. I've had them where I've had to put boots in them. My point would be is why tear up a really good OEM saw when a clone saw will do it, okay? So when you're down, down in these... Everglade type trees, you want to you want to you want to saw you want an OEM 500i guys you do right, but not everybody can afford that. The firewood guy, couple two or three of these clones and he's in business. And if he can work on if he is mechanically inclined just a bit, it's a good option. So don't ever think that I'm ragging on OEM. Yes, they run a a, a more of a, a a rich oil in them because of the plating is sometimes less uh, uh, not as good as oem okay but i've seen top ends fry on an oem uh as well in a short amount of time so it's all about how you treat your saw guys and so keep the heat down in it and these kind of things so anyway i hope that helps everybody out this morning uh and uh i appreciate everybody tuning in and as always guys stay safe